Hello everybody. Already the fourth quarter for Ronstadt, which rounds up 2019. A challenging year economically, certainly in Northern Europe, but we think a successful year with record shareholder returns. In December, we hosted our analyst seminar where we talked about our opportunities for competitive growth. One of the initiatives is our enterprise uh, initiative. This talks about our biggest clients in the world, around 165, which spend each hundreds of millions on external labor. And we think they will benefit from our data, our labor market knowledge to get them the best talent going forward, wherever they are in the world. Next to that, we talked about our digital uh, initiatives. I'd like to mention two. The first one is value-based pricing, where our consultants go to clients supported with labor market data. And we see in our margin development, which grew our gross margin, that that's appreciated by our clients. The second one is workforce scheduling. This is aimed at mid to larger clients where we implement a planning tool to take fully automated care of their workforce needs. We now have more than 1800 clients that use this approach. It was also a year where we received quite a few awards. First from our clients, which of course is most important, but we also received the Henry Seidhoff Prize in the Netherlands for the best annual report. And next to that, eight of our female management colleagues were nominated in the top 150 leaders in our industry. And that's important because it's not just of what they did for Randstad, but they're also very visible to the outside world, working on a better and more inclusive labor market. Finally, to close off this quarter and 2019, let's have a look at our results. <music>